Kan shalom. All praises to Yahweh by Shimei Shai by Shimei Kakadash. The Bo Honor Study Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to the hopeful electors pushing his truth in sincerity. So, we go into another one. <coughs> and uh, in this one, we, we're going to focus upon the madness that is actually being pushed towards uh towards the the citizens in america and the bills that is actually being pushed in order to establish the the confusion which mystery babylon stands for it says north carolina, carolina uh republic madison cowton provided the eloquent definition of what a woman is and what a woman is not for the congress you know and i want to show you that this man who says that he is a devout Christian and frequently includes biblical references also is going to point, point out Liba Sanati is also going to point, point out that <laughs> this man knows that America is mystery Babylon man let, let me just play this man it was beautiful to see what is this now we gotta wow let me see if I read Madam Speaker, the left has ripped away the pen of truth from the author of life. They've exchanged natural science for a party platform and declared war on biology. Your left-wing movement is forcing children to endure radical expressions of sexuality. And yet, you can't even define what a woman is. You might amend a bill, but you'll never amend biology. Science is not Burger King. You can't just have it your way. I am the youngest member of the House of Representatives. And I never th imagined that one of my sacred duties in this hallowed chamber would be explaining to the House Speaker the difference between a man and a woman. Take notes, Madam Speaker. I'm about to define what a woman is for you. XX chromosomes, no tally whacker. It's so simple. And yet today, <coughs> the proclamation of fundament fundamental scientific fact will cause the woke liberals in Silicon Valley to strip you of your voice and ban you until you bow at their altar of falsehoods. Patriots like Charlie Kirk and Tucker Carlson have been muzzled on Twitter for promoting the dangerous and bigoted ideology called science. Madam Speaker, you and your party are living a lie. The Babylon Bee is a more reliable source of fact than you. Perhaps it will click when you hand the gavel to Republicans and realize that truth is king. It reigns with the American Speaker. And you, Madam <coughs> Speaker, never will again. With that, I yield back. So you see, he made the reference to the Babylon Beast which is referring to Mystery Babylon, the, the power structure of, uh, of America, <coughs> according to the scriptures. You know, and it's truly the spirit of the Most High that is doing these things. Let's jump to a couple of scriptures, man. The book of Isaiah, chapter 10, verse 1. Woe unto them the decree unrighteous decrees which come with these laws, these bills. Woe means lamentation, mourning, and destruction. <coughs> and that right grievousness which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless and that's what you see man the youngsters the old everything is nothing is being excluded from the confusion and the corruption of what he so is doing the confusion that that is mystery babylon it stands for complete corruption and confusion <coughs> <coughs> and more and more of insiders more and more of the people that are well aware of what is taking place will speak out the book of psalms chapter 64 verse 8 so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves all that see them shall flee away and that's what you see <coughs> he's all speaking against Esau, exposing the madness that is taking place this this lgbtq madness is, is running buck wild all over the globe man it is it is words cannot express how crazy things are upon the earth man you know it's truly not a place where you where you where you uh, uh will think like man i'm a bear children in this place man because the the chance is very great that isa will corrupt the mind of your child man the book of isaiah chapter uh, 47 verse 1 come down you know lament for babylon Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. 
for thou should no more be called tender and delicate. Yeah, they're no more tender and te delicate, man. The Heavenly Father is about to take down America, man. You know, because America, America is that that place, that place that st that that stands for. Let's get it in the book of name. That stands for lies, man. <coughs> You know, another term referring to American Nineveh, it's complete ruin. It says, Woe to the bloody city, it is full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not. And America stands for, for, for lies and robbery, man. Just look at how the native Indians got raped, robbed, and murdered from their country, man. Stolen ground. The noise of the whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses of the jumping chariots. The horsemen lifted up both the, the bright sword and the glittering spear and there's a multitude a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses and there's none end of their corpses they stumble upon their corpses just trying to imagine how much blood was shed over the establishment of america man <coughs> because of the multitude of the hordes of the well-favored harlot the mysteries of witchcraft that sell it nations to a hoarden <coughs> and families to a witchcraft so let me show the this is the, the red dragon representing uh, the beast and the seven heads and ten horns which is NATO and America holding the golden cup which is that that whore aka America aka Babylon confusion aka mystery Babylon is is riding the beast you know, steering Europe, the, the Ten Horns is Europe. This is the power structure of Israel in this present time. So back to the book of Isaiah 47, verse 2. Take the millstone and grind meal, uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg, uncover the thighs. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. <coughs> America is being exposed. <coughs> mm. America is being exposed for, for the wicked philosophy, man. You know, the so-called democracy, religion, idolatry, homosexuality, lies, adultery, covetousness, murder, and all other examples of their philosophic babal, confusion, which they push towards the people, man. <coughs> and I will not meet the as man. This is speaking about when the Lord is coming back as a lion, man. <coughs> The Lord is about to bring judgment upon Babylon, man. From a lamb, the innocent lamb, which was the sacrifice for the chosen people of the Lord, the, he the Hebrew Israelites, unto the lion, the comeback of the Lord, coming back in his angelic form. Revelation chapter 17, verse 1, And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven fields, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will shew unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, because America is actually a cesspool of, of uh, all type of people, man. It's, it's, a, it's a melting pot with whom the kings, which is talking about the rulers of the earth, have committed fornication. Everybody is in cahoots and is being actually uh, uh, corrupted and, 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 and uh, uh, you know, infected by the philosophy of America. And the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of a fornication, you know, like I already showed. This is the wine, the, the cup which she holds, this is what she has in it, the philosophy, and she gives everybody to drink. And people drink and they love it, man. They have joy in being in that state of total confusion. Um, so, he carried me away in the spirit in the wilderness, and I saw a woman, which is America, the great whore, Sit it upon a scarlet colored beast, I, show you, I showed you the beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns, which is the representation of what? Of NATO. <coughs> and the woman, <coughs> and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in the hand, full of abomination and filthiness of a fornication. And this is what, this is what they give everybody to drink, you know, the American dream. The YOLO lifestyle, the normalization of the LGBTQ community, you know. And upon the forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots, the ab abominations of the earth, and all the abominable things 
is being pushed and normalized in America. <coughs> and I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints because they slay and they destroying the saints, you know, they they feasting on the blood of the saints. These 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 devils are vampires, man. And with the blood of martyrs of Yahweh Shai. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration, you see? John was looking at it with great admiration. But it's all done, you know. For thou should no more be called tender and delicate. This 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 is the end. <coughs> <coughs> so we're the we're the end of this wicked empire, man. Let's jump to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. It's payback time. <coughs> and the Lord, the Lord actually says, like, step out of Babylon. Return back unto me if you remain in walking in the ways of Babylon, you're going to be consumed together with Babylon. That's what the Most High says. It says, Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of a wine. <coughs> Therefore, the nations are mad. All the nations are completely bugging and tripping. You see them do crazy things. Even, even, even the women in the Middle East, which supposed to be one of the last... One of the last nations which still was quite upholding uh, a certain a certain uh, a certain conduct which is deemed as righteous, which they also have from us. Even they are being corrupted in these days, man. You got a lot of you got a lot of Ishmaelite uh, uh, young girls and females, totally corrupted, man. Some of them even doing all type of porn porn movies while they have while they have their 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 covering on like truly being an offense. Onto, onto their God, man. But that's that's that is all <coughs> the end product, the end result of the corruption of Esau's Esau's uh, Babylonian wine, man. It says, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. Well, Babylon cannot be healed. People hope and people think like everything is going to be all right with America, but. When you truly believe and when you truly read the scriptures and understand the scriptures, you can only agree with what the will is of the Most High. The will of the Most High is to take down this wicked empire. Babylon will be destroyed and can be healed. You know, the whole financial system, the whole the whole economy is is so is so deeply sunken. The whole the whole the whole uh, 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 American debt is in the trillions like this this can't be fixed there's no there's no financial injection that they can do where they can fix what is what is what is right now taking place it says we would have healed babylon but she is not healed forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country for, for her judgment reach it unto heaven and is lifted even to the sky you know and that that links onto uh, revelation 18 let's get that <coughs> I really have to get the kurkuma, man. This weather is truly a messed up. Like here in the Netherlands, you have the sun is shining. <coughs> <coughs> then it's snowing, <laughs> raining. You know. Then you got sunshine again. Then it's raining. This weather really messes you up, man. You know, but I'm glad that it's only some coughing because I've heard about people truly being crazy sick. Long times at home, laying and, and you know. So I, I've, I've, till that degree, I don't, I shouldn't complain about having a little bit of coughing. So the book of Revelation chapter 18 verse 1. And after, and after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power and the earth was lightened with his glory and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying babylon mystery babylon america the great is fallen is fallen has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird america is, is circling the drain man it's going down for all nations have drunk of the wine of a breath of a fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. 
because everybody does business import export traffic with America everybody is in agreement <clears throat> with America you know but now America slaps others with sanctions as well you know and you see this the decisions the steps that uh, uh, Putin for example makes man this man is demanding that if you want gas you have to pay with rubles power move being made you know so these are things that we should focus upon man of course the, this the, in the, to the spirit i'm covering this thing because i saw it and i and i saw the man uh uh, uh the madison he was actually he's actually a devout a christian and he pointed out about a, a, a reverence towards uh, babylon so i was like yo that's that's something which i actually want to cover you know the most the most high works in they say in, mir in, in miraculous ways is what they say right the heavenly father can do things magnify and bring things across in in all type of ways man so it says for her sins have reached unto heaven and the most that remembered her iniquities reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works in the cup which she had filled filled to her double how much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously so much torment and sorrow give her for she said in her heart i sit a queen and i'm no widow and shall see no so sorrow because america is proud man <coughs> america really thinks that they will not go down you got many people still saying things the president's like god bless america you know god bless america but the most High is not going to bless america man america is about to be destroyed joe biden even speaks about a, a famine the heavenly father speaks about nuclear destruction fire is going to burn down america man it says, therefore shall the plagues come in one day. Death is coming for America. Mourning and famine is coming. <coughs> <coughs> and she shall be utterly burned with fire, which is nuclear fire. For strong is the Lord power who judgeth her. This is the judgment of the Most High. Get ready. Shalom.